the, the, there is meant to be a series of international regulations that are designed to make piracy more difficult. The data would seem to suggest that they're having little effect, so it's up to companies like this to try and do what they can. Absolutely. Well, to date, there's been effectively a two-pronged strategy here uh, where you have, on the one hand, deterrent, which is made up of legislation and litigation, and then, on the other hand, you have practical solutions, which uh, the Netflix example with Bre Breaking Bad is the latest in a run of attempts by the industry to try and discourage piracy. I mean, the problem here is they're never going to remove Yep. It's just it's too vast a problem and so the idea is to make it less attractive or uh, for, for individuals to try to reduce the time that they, are, are they, that they have to wait to view a popular program. Yep. In this case, if they reduce it down to 24 hours, well then the idea would be that people will settle for that rather than try to go down well, the this, illegal route. This is the issue, isn't it? That there's, no, there's, there's not been a decent sort of legal alternative, some would say. You want to watch this stuff, you've got to wait for months and months and months. That doesn't wash with the general public as a result of which they're finding ways around, around the system. I, I, you need to provide, the, the industry in order to be more practical about this needs to provide a credible alternative. If you provide a credible alternative, most people will probably go with it. Absolutely. I mean, the big difficulty has been that the legislation hasn't worked. I mean, the Stop Online Piracy Act, SOPA, uh, that was introduced uh, with a view to try to put in s severe financial and dollar penalties to discourage people from uh, illegal downloads, uh, was completely snuffed out because of opposition from WikiLeaks and the various websites. Uh, the litigation, the MPAA are involved in ongoing litigation against the likes of Hot5 and it's now going into its third year, uh, although it looks like it may be coming to a head this year. So there is no quick fix in terms of either mm. the legislation or the litigation. So these practical solutions are the only way forward. Uh, we have a, a scenario where uh, a number of the ISPs have agreed to the six strikes operation, which in turn, the, 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 the copyright alert system, uh, which works on the basis of warnings, a set of warnings. You get one, two warnings that are fairly mild, then the third and fourth warnings uh, seek an acknowledgement for you, and then once you move on to five and six, uh, there is the option of slowing down your internet access uh, and ultimately possibly suspending it. So we're all waiting to see how that's going to work from a practical perspective. Uh, human nature being what it is, if people can get a free product and a quick product, they'll go for it. Which do, you think is more will not wait. which do you think is more important, the free or the quick? I think uh, the, the important thing is that we've got to strike a balance here. It, the, the, the online piracy has got to such a level that unfortunately it means that the quality of the product is going to be affected. It has to be. I mean, the mm. investment is not going back into the industry and we're all going to suffer in the long term. Now, it's a bit like, you know, your carbon footprint. Most people think, well, look, if somebody else is looking after it, it doesn't really matter. It'll be okay for me just to do one or two illegal yeah. downloads. And that's, that's the psyche that I think the industry have to get around. And the way to get around it is this is a, f a good, you know, a good start on the part of Netflix. Narrow down the time frame when the, uh, the program is available for the public. Uh, what further moves in legislation would be effective? You've run through a whole list of acronyms that, that sort of stand for various pieces of legislation. Uh, what, what would be a practical piece of legislation that would make life easier for those that are trying to fight piracy? Well, I think SOPA did represent a very, very good base, good start. In fact, uh, although it's floundered in the United States, Russia have just introduced their own yep. equivalent of SOPA uh, at the beginning of this month, and it'll be interesting to see how that works. The problem is there is this major struggle with freedom of speech arguments, privacy arguments, and each country has different standards, different priorities, and you're dealing with different cultures. So in a perfect world, you would want an international approach, where everyone is agreed, where like, the world body is agreed uh, on what should be done. But that's unlikely to happen, certainly in the way things are, are uh, happening at the moment. In, in terms of where the onus is likely to be placed next, um, is it... A, a lot of this stuff gets released here in, in Western cinemas, TV screens earlier on, then effectively gets routed via emerging markets who can churn this stuff out very, very quickly. How much of a, as you, talk, as you talk about the sort of the international gaps that exist, how much of it is, is really going to fly in countries where most people don't even have the, the, the financial wealth to be able to buy this stuff? Again, it's an impossible task all around. I think uh, the industry has to hope 
that quality will win the day. You know, if they can enhance the quality of the original product uh, and make it much more difficult to stream it in a way that reflects that quality, mm. I think that in itself will at least guarantee their mainstream income. But in terms of uh, some of the third world countries where, you know, they people obviously and quite understandably are trying to access uh, these products as cheaply or as cost effectively as possible, then the word deterrent really doesn't really uh, enter into the lexicon. I bring something unique to the table.